Alright, how does a magnet attract iron? When a safety pin is brought near a permanent magnet, it is attracted to the magnet and has become an induced magnet. This is like the first layer. The safety pins are attached but su suddenly other safety pins can also attach to the first layer of safety pins forming a second layer and if it's strong enough, third layer may form, fourth layer, fifth layer maybe. How come? Isn't this the only magnet here? So the reason for this is because the pin, the first layer of pins have become induced magnet. The word induced means it was made to do so lah, which means these pins over here were made magnets. Who made this original magnet induced these pins to become their own magnets. This magnet made these magnets. Therefore, these magnets could induce these pins to also become magnets and so on and so forth until the strength of the magnetism gets too little to hold any more pins. Okay, so once the first layer has become induced magnets, they can then attract other safety pins. You notice, right, they don't just drop straight down. Strangely, they kind of um, fan apart. Does anyone want to guess why? Think about it. Magnetic induction is a process whereby an object made of a magnetic material becomes a magnet when it is near or contact with a magnet. It can also occur without any contact with the magnet. Okay, so for example, this is a real original magnet and then you bring a unmagnetized iron bar. But once you bring it near to this magnet, it doesn't even need to touch. Okay, once you bring it near to this magnet, this north pole actually makes this end of the iron bar into a south pole. And this south pole actually makes this end of the iron bar into a north pole. Therefore, you can see that this magnet has actually made this iron bar into another complete magnet. And this is called an induced magnet. Okay. So, um, the process of this is to bring the north pole of a magnet close to an unmagnetized magnetic substance such as an iron nail. Whoop, you brought it near, okay. The end of the nail near the magnet becomes a south pole. It will always become the opposite pole to what it is um, brought near to. Okay, it will always become the opposite polarity to that of the magnet. Therefore, once this side becomes a south pole, the other side of the nail will become a north pole. And because this is a north pole, then you can use it to induce another nail, okay, to become a south and north pole once again. The process by which the nails become magnets is called magnetic induction. So now let's look at picture C. Picture C, picture C shows that when this magnet, right, it, at first it was near, but now it's being brought away. When it's being brought away, strangely, this nail falls off. It means the second layer of nails falls off. The reason for this is because when this north pole is brought away, the induced south pole of the first layer of nails okay, is lost. When this south pole is lost, this north pole is also lost and this, this is not a magnet anymore. If this is not a magnet anymore, then why should it attract the other nail? So this, this guy, this nail says, hey, you're not a magnet anymore. You can't attract me anymore and I'm going to fall off. Boop. And that's what happens. Okay. An example, example one, induced magnetism. In an experiment with a bar magnet, a piece of wood is held between the north pole of a magnet and two iron nails. Although wood is a non-magnetic material, the two nails are attracted when the wood is between the magnet and the nail, suggests a reason for this. Okay. Firstly, the magnet over here, right, has a strong enough magnetic field lah, around it means the magnetic influence that this magnet has goes beyond the wood and it goes through the wood. So it manages to pass through the wood and affect the iron nails to be attracted to this part of the magnet. Okay, it's observed that the pointed tips of the iron nails point away from each other. Why is this so? This question was asked earlier on in the presentation. So now let's answer it. The iron nails become induced magnets. The pointed tips of the iron nails are like poles, north pole, and therefore they will repel each other. Let's take a look at why these 
why how can we tell that these two points are north poles firstly this part over here is a north pole which means it will induce the heads of the nails to become south pole and south pole so if this part of the nail is a south pole it would make the other side of the nail a north pole similarly if this side of the nail is a south pole it will make the other side of the nail a north pole therefore at first imagine these two pins were hanging straight there will be a north pole here and a north pole here therefore these two will be light poles and therefore they will repel each other and that's why um, these two nails would sort of point away from each other because their ends repel each other let's take a look and just some let's summarize with just some key concepts <clears throat> light poles repel unlike poles attract iron cobalt nickel and their alloys are magnetic materials can you list any more some answers are steel and l nickel thirdly only repulsion can confirm that a specimen is a magnet number four a magnetic material becomes an induced magnet when it's placed near a permanent magnet for example like the uh, pins uh, becoming magnets as well when they are placed near a permanent magnet and the end of the induced magnet nearer to the permanent magnet has the opposite polarity to that of the permanent magnet 